Let me ask you this question. What country in Africa, south of the Sahara, has produced over the decades the most diamonds? What country do you associate? <laughs> south Africa, exactly. I won't scribble on this, but I'll scribble here. South Africa. Okay, now from just looking at this map, I don't have to ask you, if you needed to find diamonds in South America, where would you go? Good. I heard it from several places. Argentina. Because the river that you will see on the map today as the Orange River that flows into the ocean between Namibia and South Africa, in those days, flowed where there was, of course, no coast, onto South America and dropped the diamonds right here. Now, I could spoil the rest of the evening to about 10 o'clock, giving you other examples of how things found at one part on one side of the ocean continue on the other side of the ocean. These are just two examples. This is how a map both answers questions and, and raises new ones. One of, the, one of the things you will see from this terrible map is that it explains why mountain ranges of the world are distributed the way they are. When these, when these continents started drifting away, their leading edges crumpled up, which is why we have uh, an Andes along here and a, 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 a California coast ranges and earlier Rocky Mountains over here, the Alps in Europe, the Himalaya over here, the, the, the um, uh, Great Dividing Range in Australia over here, the ice compacted mountain range down below, here's an extension of the Andes. Notice that the only, if I asked you the names of the mountain ranges of the major land masses, you would have got them all. But if I said Africa, you would have been quiet. And the reason for that is there isn't any one pro in Africa. And, there is, and the reason for that is Africa has sat there, and over the last many hundreds of millions of years, the continents have moved apart reunited about Africa, moved apart, and reunited about Africa. It's been going on for maybe 1,500 million years. And it is one of the great stories of our planet. 